When the Anti-Money Laundering Act was passed last year, many non-governmental and civil society organizations were alarmed by what they feel is an attempt to tighten the knot on their sources of funding. The new law provides measures to detect and deter illegal money transfers and to facilitate investigation and prosecution of money laundering. Some provisions of the law provide for the seizure, freezing and forfeiting of assets of NGOs believed to be engaged in money laundering. Critics say this will make it easier for NGOs to fall prey to undue government control. So a lot of information will be collected and this information is spreading hands without your knowledge and without your consent. But it is likely that in the end you're the one being affected. It creates new crimes, it creates new obligations on NGOs and civil society actors, but also places obligations on their spouses and associates, including uh, their own donors. So this is a serious law. We must pay particular attention to it. Under the law, anyone convicted of converting, transferring or transporting property suspected to be proceeds from crime or assist another benefit from such transactions is liable to imprisonment for not less than 15 years or a fine not exceeding 2 billion shillings or both. Civil society activists have criticized the manner in which Parliament passed the law. They are asking government to suspend the implementation of the law for at least one year. We've got to make sure that these regulations address the concerns that CSOs have on issues of privacy, issues of funding. So these regulations haven't been drafted. So we can still make this better in the regulations. There are concerns that government wants to use the law to, among others, prevent NGOs from receiving donations from abroad, citing terrorism financing. Get together as NGOs and help the regulator to frame a transparent way of enforcing the act against NGOs. These concerns emerge at a meeting to debate on the impact of the law on the activities of NGOs and civil society organizations that complement government in service delivery or keep the state in check as watchdog. Moses Sakena, NTB Tonight.